Thank you, Jim. And here we go. Whoa, and that take out whoa. Jose Williams right there whoa. right at the start. I don't think it can do any faster than that, Kenny Dan. Man, he hit hard. That was on. The, was that before the whistle? <laughs> it seemed like it was. We have T.J. Williams versus Nate Walker from Penn State, the freshman. That's Chuck Yagla, former two-time NCAA champion. Two-time champion. Yeah, for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Outstanding wrestler, I believe. And here we have a uh, Penn State fan behind us, and that'll be good for uh, the television back home. They can hear a little cheering for the uh, Pennsylvania side. It's two to one. Four to one. Shot. Wow. I'll tell you, he's hitting some quick shots. I mean, they're picture book. Right there, wow. right at the start. I don't think it can do any faster than that, can we, Dan? Man, he hit hard. That was on the, was that before the whistle? <laughs> it seemed like it was. We have T.J. Williams versus Nate Walker from Penn State, the freshman. That's Chuck Yagla, former two-time NCAA champion. Two-time champion. Yeah, for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Outstanding Hawkeye. wrestler, I believe. And here we have a uh, Penn State fan behind us, and that'll be good for uh, the television back home. They can hear a little cheering for the uh, Pennsylvania side. Two to one, four, four to one. Shot. Wow, I'll tell you, he's hitting some quick shots. I mean, they're picture book. They're right at their knees, and he's doing a great job of not hanging on, he's finishing. One run! Not getting much riding time, but right now, early in the match, he's looking, I think, to uh, get a takedown, center, let up center. type of match. First year, his first year here, and undefeated so far this year, and currently ranked number one in the country. So far, when he's moved, I've almost blinked and missed him twice. At the same time, the, the Penn State wrestler is in a position. Two Actually, he was out of position there, but another That's takedown. Three takedowns for T.J. Williams, undefeated as a collegiate here at the University of Iowa. And uh, he has really, uh, really started out fast against Nate Walker, the freshman from Penn State. Uh, the way the first period has started, Coach Sunderland is probably thinking, this might be a long night. But there's some great matchups. Anything can happen, and if the team that's uh, done it before here, Penn State, when I was the coach, you know, he, he pulled some magic a couple times, so they had the old Penn, State, the Penn State magic. Uh, well, this is nothing new. This fast start for TJ. TJ's on a tear. The, this junior um, Hawkeye has three pins, six technical center, falls, center. three major decisions, and two decisions this season, and he's 54-0 and at Iowa in his career, 26-0 and in dual meets. That was a great flurry there. He did a great job of snapping and moving. I don't know if that call was uh, the right call. Uh, Williams was really uh, moving well and moving him out of position. Uh, Walk, Walk, uh, Penn State did a great job of keeping him getting taken down there. I really thought that he didn't really have a chance to uh, set up anything. He was just trying to actually regain his balance. Nate Walker is Walker. a... Yeah, two-time prep national champion, a five-time Pennsylvania prep state champion, and, and he was also a starter on his football and baseball team, so he's an all-round athlete, but he's up against a man tonight in T.J. Wow, Williams. finally got a shot off, but a great counter. Got his hips back and went around for a takedown. He is reacting better than he was earlier. Walker's reacting much better on, on Williams' shots, getting his legs back a little bit, getting his hands down, getting his head in position, stopping some of that initial penetration. One red! It's kind of interesting you say prep champion, because I believe there's a lot of those schools out in the east, especially in the Pennsylvania area, and we just don't have many out in the uh, Midwest. And I noticed a lot of the people in the lineup are, have been national prep champions at one time Green or another from, from a lot of the schools out east. That's the end of the first down. period. The score's eight to four. Green, That's four down. takedowns for TJ Williams and four escapes for Nate Walker. The score's eight to four. Now Walker goes on top. This TJ will be, Williams. This will be interesting one. to see if he goes off the whistle here. He can explode. He sat. He said, and that's not a good technique. He followed up with a Granby, but he's still in bad position. An explosive move off the whistle would have gave him a better position. Hit a good switch there, but at the same time, he, he just kind of runs away from him for one point. An escape for T.J. Williams, whose brother Joe was a three-time national champion here at the University of Iowa and uh, uh, vying to be an, an Olympian this year and still working out right here to, uh, at the, uh, in Iowa City. TJ, a national champion last year, defeating Northern Iowa's Tony Davis in the finals, 5-3 to three for his uh, NCAA championship. Those post-collegians 
They're getting ready, a couple of Macarabian Williams are getting ready for the World Cup out in Washington, D.C. Coming up uh, just in a week from now. Stay in there. Big event, big Shot event. by Nate Walker, but uh, stopped and turned into a takedown by TJ Williams. And an escape makes the score 11 to five. We're one minute left in the uh, second period. Center. We're at Carver Hawkeye Arena, Iowa City, Iowa, between the number one ranked Iowa Hawkeyes and the number 25 ranked Penn State Nittany Lions. Back, I'm Tim Johnson along Hustle with back. Dan Gable. There's Joe Williams right there, Dan. I'm looking for Joe all day. He, we had a club practice today, and he wasn't there, but actually he called in, and uh, so I knew he wasn't coming, but uh, had to give him a little ribbon there. <laughs> Moving the goal. It's kind of discouraging, actually, is when Williams is shooting, he's getting the majority of the takedowns when he's shooting off his shots, but when he's countering his shot, he's also scoring. So it's kind of like a, a double whammy offense there. When he shoots, he scores, and when his opponent shoots, he kind of scores. But uh, one of the things that happens is the opponent he gets a little action, hesitant guys, on his action. shot just because he's fearing the goal behind him that makes it a little bit easier for, center, for center. Williams to get, get the takedown. You really have to penetrate and open up, especially when you have a guy as quick as, as Williams. We're talking about TJ Williams, another shot here. He's leading 11 to five over Nate Walker from Penn State. There's the Troy Sunderland, the Penn State coach. He was a uh, uh, All-American wrestler almost won a national championship for Penn State. Came close. Look at look at this. TJ's losing focus. I can tell you that. We can see right now he's standing. If I was the coach right now, I'd be on him right now, basically telling him to get his head back in the game. Dual meets. Uh, or uh, let's see, didn't they win? Uh, what they do? They they won a couple of years ago here. Yeah, and I'm not sure if it's a, this might be the next time. This is the last time they've been in here. But maybe they win for the national duels. But I don't think uh, we wrestled them. But they've had a nice tra tradition oh, of. Uh, uh, strong wrestling right, from College Park, Maryland. I mean, College Park, Pennsylvania, right? Or That's University right. Park, uh, State Pennsylvania. State College or University Park. There we go. We'll get it right for our viewers at WPSX. We're very thankful for uh, that uh, station that covers wrestling and, and uh, gives that our sport such great coverage. Happy Valley. Right now, it's uh, a five-point margin, and I'm sure Coach Zaleski's wanting Williams to pick it up a little bit and try to get a major here. He started off the match to get a major, but uh, stalling call, I don't know. Let's hear from our partner, Jim Gibbons. Well, just, just, just to compliment what you guys have been saying here, I think the Penn State wrestler with an 11-11 record is just, is, uh, you know, to go out there and wrestle a full seven minutes with the defending national champion in his home turf, I think that's what he's looking for, to stay in this match physically. So it's kind of a, it's just, you know, the Penn State wrestlers are judging themselves by a little bit different standard than just by what you see at the scoreboard. 14-6, to six, the Iowa wrestler, T.J. Williams, defending national champion. There's the last takedown here and gets two points. Scores 14 to six, 14 to seven with that escape. There's a minute 10 left in the match, third period. Actually, that was kind of a call on the edge there that uh, he still had the whizzer in, but he had the far ankle st stopped and held and actually he looked like he was in control. And that's why I believe the referee gave the control right there. The Penn State Russell would have put a little effort on that whizzer and showed that no, he doesn't have control. I think he could have kept from getting the takedown there. Well, there's no riding time advantage. It's still, it's still a regular decision right now uh, for T.J. Williams, and that would be a, um, a victory of sorts uh, for Penn State from uh, having to start out against such a formidable opponent. I agree. So, uh, right with you, T.J. Uh, hopefully that uh, Walker will uh, keep enough action going so he doesn't get on a stalling call and make sure that uh, Hawkeyes don't get a major. Sunderland's up, and he's encouraging him. He, he knows if he works hard here, they they can keep this uh, team score down to three instead of four. It's very important in the early stages of a of a wrestling match. 14 seconds left. And, you better be uh, careful there. There's, uh, there's a takedown. Oh, I think I would have called fleeing the mat on that one. Well, he's staying right in there. Nate Walker has uh, wrestled tough uh, against uh, just a more talented opponent in T.J. Williams. Uh, caution on T.J. Williams for starting before the uh, whistle. Seven seconds left. Score 14 to seven. T.J.'s doing more reaching right now. He's getting a little frustrated. He's got to keep his cool. Didn't get the major there. So didn't get the major. Final score, 14 to seven. T.J. Uh, Needed to keep his cool during the match. I think he could have easily picked up a couple more points, but uh, a little upset with himself, I can see there. Well, the bottom line is, it was in his hands. 
and uh, he wanted more points. We needed to uh, stay focused. Iowa leads 3-0 after the first match at 100.